I want to show you the power of Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we even dive into the nitty gritty and all the different things about getting started, I'm going to dive in showing you how to stabilize shaky footage in just a few clicks. So go ahead and download the practice video clip in this lesson. It's called Bride and Groom Shaky. This is a video clip that I shot at a friend's wedding just with my DSLR camera. And as you can see, it's a little shaky and not so great. Let's fix that in Adobe Premiere Pro really quickly. Open up Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've never opened it up, don't worry. We're going to be going over all the settings in the future lessons. All you need to do is click new project. Type in a name for your project. I'm going to call it shaky. Click OK. Adobe Premiere Pro will open up and your windows might not look the same as mine. That's okay. We're going to learn how to adjust all the windows in a future lesson. But all you have to do right now is look for the project panel called Project Shaky. And it says import media to start in this window. Double click right in there and it will open up a little window where you can find the bride and groom shaky footage that you just downloaded. Click import. And that's going to bring this video clip into your project window. Let's add this to a new timeline or basically a new video sequence. Click and drag this clip onto this little icon that looks like a post-it note. This is the new item button. By doing this, a new timeline opens up. We can click through the timeline up here to drag and play through our video clip. Just press the space bar to play. Let's make this footage not so shaky. Find the effects window. It should be behind the project window. If you don't see it, you can go up to window and make sure effects is on. There's a little search bar at the top of effects. Let's type in warp. Under the distort bin right here, we see this effect called warp stabilizer. Ooh, sounds cool. Let's click and drag that onto our video clip. In the effects controls panel that pops up, we'll see all sorts of text and buttons and things. Don't worry all about that, but you will notice that there's this little time remaining countdown. It's analyzing this clip, trying to think, how can I stabilize this footage? How can I make it not so shaky? Once it's done, it will stabilize it. We could go backwards on the timeline and play through. Mmm, smooth, buttery motion. I love that. It's completely different than what we had before. And we can easily see what we had before by turning on and off this effect by clicking this FX button right next to Warp Stabilizer. Play through it without the effect on. Turn that on and play through it with the Smooth Buttery Warp Stabilizer on. We can even take this a step further, changing the result from Smooth Motion to No Motion. Just click that little drop down and choose No Motion. It's going to restabilize and it probably will have to crop in a little bit so that it can make sure that there's no motion. And when we play through this, look at that. That is crazy. Absolutely no motion for this clip. This is just one of the many effects and tricks and tips that I'm going to be teaching you in this class. But let's first take it a step back. And in the following lessons, we're going to learn about starting your new project, the settings you want to choose, and making sure we're all set up for success with the right panels and understanding the layout of the program. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.